Drop it in. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area and I am here to inspire you to live a more organized life. If you've been watching my channel for at least a minute or two, you know that I am also a dog mom. Now I have gotten some questions about the dog items since I moved into my new apartment. Uh, we've been living here for six months and people were like, okay, where's all your dog stuff? How do you organize your dog stuff? How do you put the dog stuff away? Uh, and uh, today we're gonna talk about it. Let's go. First of all, introductions. This is Clover. Clover James, he is the best dog in the world. He knows it, he has a personal song that says he's the best dog in the world. He is a, a three and a half year old, well he's almost four, well we'll say three and a half. Three and a half year old Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and he is my first dog. But he is what I believe is probably the most organized dog in America. He's also probably the, one of the most spoiled dogs in America, but that, we won't talk about that. Anyway, I will show you where all of his stuff is, and he'll probably come along for the ride, won't you? Because I'm, if, if, I'm, if I'm rooting around in all of his stuff, then he tends to like want to know what's going on. So uh, you'll probably see him for most of the video, which is awesome, right? <laughs> all right, you want to go look at your stuff? Yeah, let's, 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 do, let's do that. Let's give, some people, let's give the people some inspiration. Clover, are you ready to show them where your stuff is? Yes? Okay. Great. This is the entry to our apartment. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I have a go zone for things you need to leave the house with. And Clover has a go zone as well. He actually has two go zones. Well, we both have, we all have two go zones because we have our keys here along with um, any mail that gets sort of collected and has to be dealt with later. That's like mostly just coupons for furniture. But he's got two little command hooks here. One is for his collar and the other was for his harness and his his leash along with a little poop bag. We got him a new harness recently because this one has a front clip. I find the front clip to be very helpful against some doggies that pull a little bit. I don't know who I'm talking about. But so this uh, command hook system works really well. Command hooks are really awesome if you're not familiar with them. They are removable hooks that you can use in your apartment. You don't have to um, put holes in your wall and they're really strong if you use them correctly. And here is our front hall closet in which he has his own little drawer in the drawer unit area as well. He's gonna show you which one is his. That's, that's not the one though. Your drawer is this one. This is your drawer. Oh wait, that's mine. <laughs> your drawer is the top one. You're lucky. Well, we have umbrellas and he's got his little go stuff in here. So this is like basically stuff he gets to wear on the way out sometimes. So if it's raining or wet out or gross, we put some shoes on him. Yes, he has shoes and, or he's got a raincoat. We've got a treat thing for doing some training on walks. And he's got a long line just in case he, we, we take him to the park to play because you love fetch. Right? What are you looking for? Did you find what you were looking for? I hope so. Moving right along, Clover has a really cute eating area over here in the kitchen. Look at how cute. Clover James, here he comes. This is where he eats his breakfast and dinner every day. We got both of these bowls from PetSmart and he eats, <laughs> he's waiting. He eats so quickly every day that we have to get in this puzzle bowl so that he uh, at least takes five minutes to eat his food. Yeah, that's you, Mr. Greedy Pants. Mr. Greedy Pants. <laughs> and speaking of his food, it's over in the pantry with our food. <laughs> so he's got his kibble in there, which I need to fill the kibble. It says Clover James. And he's got his treats in this, um, is this called? It's a, it's a basket from a brand called Yamazaki. He's gonna kill me for having this out and not giving him anything. We'll give him something. But he's got all of his like little chew treats in here. He's got some fish skins and that's some other yummy stuff in there. You want a treat? It's almost your dinner time, but you can have this. Oh, you're, no, you gotta sit first. Good job. Here you go, you can have that whole thing because you're a good boy. Yeah. Yummy cod skins. Mmm. So spoiled. 
Anyway, because that stuff gets kind of crazy, it's great in a bin and uh, my husband wanted to make sure that, it, that his food wasn't <laughs> with the rest of our food, so it's just with our cookbooks. While he's eating, we can check out his other area. This is the other place where his things are. He's got uh, the big uh, mother load of dog food in this Bon Appetit container. It has a, uh, a scoop in it. It's really cute and it rolls, which is awesome for when we have to fill this so that it's not like, you know, inconvenient to like, take it out of its little place. And he has two whole drawers in the store unit. So spoiled. This first drawer is just dedicated to his grooming tools because my bro is a long haired dog and he needs all of this stuff for um, grooming. So this is his bath bag. I take, we have a, um, a pet spa in our building, which is super nice. And I take this whole bag down there. It's full of towels and shampoo and um, fun little treats while he's taking a bath. And then this is his like basic grooming kit. It has like all of his combs and brushes and all the stuff and toothbrush and all the things he needs to get clean and beautiful. He also has a couple other things back here. This is to wash his paws if he's out and it's gross um, and his paws are disgusting. You fill this with water and soap and then you just put your paw, his paw in there and go like that <laughs> and it gets clean. And this is just to stop um, hair from going down the sink but I don't really wash him in the sink anymore but just in case I have to if like the pet spa is like messed up or something like that, I can wash it. Oh, look who's here. Have you finished your, your skin? Oh, that was a big burp. Okay, we're not gonna do grooms right now, but but we will later. There's also his clipper set down here for, for clipping, clipping the hairs off the butt. And down here, we've got um, his other weather clothes. We have a, a cooling mat for him. If he comes in from the super long, like super intense heat, he can lie on it and it gets cool. How does it work? I don't know, but he loves it. This is a cooling coat. He can wear it, you just wet it down and it keeps him cool in the heat because you know dogs don't sweat. These are coats for uh, the cold weather because we live in De Boston and it gets really cold. And of course, the leftover, B-A-L-L's. You can't say this word uh, because he is obsessed with balls, obsessed. He also has um, some backup toys in those two white boxes. <laughs> They're unlabeled. They used to be in this linen cabinet um, and they were down on the floor, but he used to come in the bathroom at night and bark and um, s growl and stuff and try to get into that cabinet. <laughs> and then I just put them in a different place so that he would, could stop doing that. Buddy, do you want? There's no toys. Do you want to see? Look, I moved the toys. <laughs> I moved them. There's nothing in there that's a toy. I found a chicken. Hey, hey, I can't even. <laughs> you happy now? We got one out already? Wow, you're talented. Every now and again, a good thing to do if you have a dog is to switch out the toys. So those are like the rest of the toys. His regular toys that he's using out are by his bed. So his little bed is here by the chair in our living room and he loves to sleep in it. He's had it since he was a puppy and he adores it. And he has decimated his bucket of toys that he loves to play with. So he basically plays with all of those toys and every now and again I switch them out for different ones. And the other toy which we have out all the time but we don't have it on all the time is his um, eye fetch. We're teaching him to use it. He can basically put the ball in the funnel and have it um, toss the ball. What? What was that noise? What are you doing over there? What are you doing? 
What are you doing? Oh, you took the, you took this off? Why? Why would you take that off? I know he doesn't look like you, but you don't have, you don't have to toss him. You guys, we can try out the eye fetch. We can, we can see if he can, if he can use it. He's learning to use it, but he's not really that good at it. He's not good at it, but he loves balls. Drop it. Oh. Good job. Here, grab it. Grab it. Okay, come here, here. Come here. Come here. Good, 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 good. Okay, you stand right here. Stand right here. Drop it. <laughs> One day he'll figure it out, I swear. Um, but for now, he's just like. He's struggling. The struggle is real, right, buddy? <laughs> He's like, please help me. All right, so that is a quick tour of Clover's stuff. And that's where it ended up, in the new apartment. And uh, maybe that'll give you some inspiration on how to store your dog stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Is Clover the most organized dog in America, or is he just average? I don't know, let me know. Down in the comment below, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new and you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe. I publish three times a week about home organizing, home decorating, home everything. And I would love to have you here. We have a lot of fun. So um, that's great. <laughs> Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Drop it in the funnel. Drop it. Yeah, good job. Oh, it went far. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right, pick it up. Pick it up. Drop it in. Yes. Yes. Oh. oh, you're so such a. Oh, yeah, growl. Growl. Oh, you're so tough. So tough. So tough. So tough. It's okay. Drop it. <laughs> this never gets old, I swear. No, it's right there. You see it? No, no, no. It's, it's right there. It's right there. It rolled. No, it's.